What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the new Trials of Osiris Sword, the Sola Scar, which is very unique because it's a bolt caster frame that is solar with chain reaction. Yes, chain reaction on a sword. You can get this this week from the 5 wins, so it's kind of achievable for most people to get. Then you can also farm it from random drops turning in tokens. Right now my code error is 30% off for G Fuel, so definitely make sure to take advantage of that and stock up on all your favorite flavors or try something new. I just got an email from G Fuel. They're sending me a new secret flavor, code name Pink Drip. I have no idea what that's about, so I guess we're gonna find out what that flavor is here in a few days. But just so we're clear, that info did not come from me, okay? So starting off with the video, the first thing I want to do is look at the perks on the weapon. In the left side, it has Tireless Blade, which I believe will be the best because every other powered sword kill will give one ammo back. So it'll pretty much give you if you do the math, like 66% more ammo, somewhere in that range. Then it also has Relentless Strikes, but this sword is not really for DPS. So with that, if you're just using that for Acclear, every third hit, you'll get one ammo back compared to every other with Tyrus Blade. That's why Tyrus Blade is pretty much the go-to in the left slot. In the right column, we have some interesting perks. There's Thresh for more super energy, Vorpal for 15% more damage, On Guard, which will give you more damage right after you swap to the sword. Then we also have Assassin's Blade, counterattack and then finally chain reaction so i'm definitely gonna be farming to try to get some of those rolls so i can test them in a future video but this video is gonna be mostly about chain reaction and as i mentioned this is a caster frame which means you have the ranged heavy attack that bolt caster had along with your normal light attacks and the thing that is interesting about this heavy attack is just like the bolt caster had like an arc build whenever you hit a target with the heavy attack this one will have like a fire field surrounding the enemy which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and try out how Chain Reaction feels on a sword. Well, if you guys don't know, Chain Reaction is pretty much Dragonfly for non-precision weapons. And that is pretty much what it is. It's a sword with Dragonfly. And it feels pretty good. The only thing about it is Chain Reaction. In the past, all the weapons with Chain Reaction are all explosive weapons. And they would be able to kill multiple enemies at once. And kind of push their bodies away from the main explosion. Which would then explode and kill more enemies. But with the sword, you can only kill one enemy at a time unless you're doing heavy attacks. And that one enemy will explode just like Dragonfly. So the radius of the explosions are a lot more tame than they are with the other explosive chain reaction weapons. But because you're playing up close and personal, a lot of enemies will come straight at you. And you can kind of get them grouped up, then just swing at one and it'll kill all of them. But as I mentioned, if you use the heavy attack, you'll be able to kill more enemies at once. Then all those enemies will explode and it'll have a much bigger chain reaction explosion, almost as if you're using the salvo. But at the same time, using heavy attacks on this weapon is not very friendly towards your ammo economy. It consumes 8 ammo to do a heavy attack, which just simply is not worth it. And another thing about the caster frame swords is they're not necessarily good for damage. Obviously, I don't have a damage perk on it, but if you just look at 6 light attacks, the DPS is only 37,000, which once again, these numbers are lower than they were in previous seasons, so that is pretty bad. Then if I do a heavy attack into light swings for like a full combo of using a heavy attack, the heavy attack does 45,000 damage in total, and it consumes 8 ammo, so that's definitely not really worth it, and the DPS only barely goes up. So overall, even if you had some of the damage perks on the sword, it's definitely going to be more for ad clear and not really for boss damage. There's way better swords for boss damage in the game. So that leads me to a few of the cool builds you can do with this. I would probably use Devour, that way I can get up close and personal with the sword and just not worry about dying, just go in, go ham, you know, get in, get out. Then I'd also be using the salvo with Chain Reaction just to add to the Firefly explosive build, then obviously the sword, then whatever exotic of choice. And unfortunately, I did not get any Chain Reaction rolls on my account, that's why I'm on someone else's account, and unfortunately, that account did not have any mods. So what I would be using instead would be Chromatic Fire for my exotic primary of choice, then the three good War Mind mods, Wrath of Resputin, Global Reach, and Rage of the War Mine. And because it is a sore sword with Chain Reaction, the kills from the Chain Reaction itself will create War Mind Cells. You shoot that one War Mind Cell and it'll create more and more and chain forever. Then we also have Taking Charge. Make sure your sword is master worked. Every single time you get a double kill, you'll get an orb to spawn in and you'll become Charge of Light times one. And with that stack, we'll be using Lucent Blade for a 35% buff to our sword damage for majors and bosses. And like I mentioned, I cannot show off how this build would work because I'm on someone else's account that unfortunately didn't have these mods. But as you can imagine, it's going to work pretty well. You're just going to be able to go in, especially if you have Tireless Blade in the left column, you'll have a lot of ammo. You'll just be pretty much chain exploding everything, creating Warmind Cells, which will then clear even more. 
Then you also have the salvo with chain reaction and also whatever kinetic primary with chromatic fire to create even more explosions and even more one mind cells. And if you were confident enough, you could change to a solar subclass that way the kinetic primary would also be creating solar explosions and even more war mine cells on top of everything else. You could also use in the artifact this season, there is a mod that will give you damage reduction while holding a sword near enemies. So you could also use that and that would probably help with one of the solar subclasses that we can play aggressively still and not worry about dying. So there's definitely a lot of cool builds you could do with a sword, but overall, do I feel like it's worth the slot? Well, first of all, caster swords, as we mentioned, are pretty bad for DPS. There's definitely way better swords and rockets and things like that in the game right now. So for DPS, it's not that good. But let's talk about the act there with Chain Reaction. Do I think it's worth it? I'm not quite sure. It's definitely a cool, interesting, fun experience. Something that we've never had in Destiny before. Having a sword that can chain kill veins like this. But at the same time... The way Chain Reaction works, it just doesn't quite hit the same with the sword as it does with some of the other weapons. As I mentioned earlier in the video with something like the Salvo, the initial GL shot can kill multiple veins and send those bodies kind of flying in different directions, which will then explode. So from one GL shot, you can have multiple Chain Reaction explosions at once. Compared to the sword, you're pretty much going to be killing one or maybe two veins right next to each other and that explosion will be only in that area and not really spread out so the effect of chain reaction on a sword is not nearly as potent as it is on something like the salvo and the only way you're going to be able to get those bigger explosions with a sword is if there's multiple enemies in the same spot that you kill with one light attack but at the same time their bodies will just drop straight down and that explosion will be pretty much in the same area or you can use heavy attacks but as i mentioned consuming eight ammo is pretty much just never going to be worth it and just using 8 light attacks instead will benefit you more over the long run. So I'm kind of on the fence. I definitely want to get a Chain Reaction 1 on my account. That way I can test it with the War Mind Cell build. Because as you guys know, once War Mind Cells are in a build, that pretty much is game changing. Even if the weapon isn't that great on its own. Just the fact that it can create War Mind Cells alone is enough to like change it into one of the best things in the game. So I'm kind of reserving some of my judgment of Chain Reaction on the sword until I can use it with the full build that I mentioned in this video. But overall, as of right now, I just think Chain Reaction on the Salvo is much better. And obviously that is a special weapon and you're not using your heavy weapon on a pretty low DPS weapon as you would be with this caster frame. Anyways, the rest of the video will just be some strike gameplay. Let me know what you think about this caster frame with Chain Reaction. And if you're going to try to get it on your account this weekend. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.